Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. This is Jeremy the Whiz Kid. As you can see, we're back with the East Texas Belt box car. I've taken the car completely apart. First step was to pull these pins that were holding the trucks in place with the plastic wheels. That's all going to go away now because we're going to upgrade that part of the, the car. Those pins held the trucks to this floor and when I was searching through the box that this car came in, I did find the missing coupler in the, the plate for holding it. But that's going to go away too because the floor has mounting holes for those trucks and one of those holes has become elongated and shows some rough wear. So we're going to get rid of that. I wanted to show you though the weight, nice weight that was in the car, but I figured out why the car was rolling over. The weight had become detached. The CA in these three spots that you can see had failed. So we're going to hold on to that weight just in case we decide to use it, but the floor is going to go away. What that leaves us is this nice box car. What I want to show you today is prepping a new floor. This is a floor for a similar type of box car from another kit. It's got a upgrade to the brake gear. As you can see, there's more detail. And the trucks will be held onto this new floor with screws instead of just those pins. So what we're going to do is we're going to Dremel off the company name just to make it a little bit less visible when we do a little bit of weathering to this car. Get all the flash cleaned up and this all assembled. With the glue drying on the floor of the car, and the rest of the car drying from being washed, I thought I'd take a minute and talk about the weights. This is the original weight from the car. You can see this fills the whole floor of the car. These two weights were added probably later, after this was painted black of course. I don't want these to come loose like the whole rest of it did and bounce around inside the car. Additionally, this would block where the screws are going to come up through the new floor potentially causing interference for the trucks. So we're not going to use this in this project. What we are going to use are these. Standard one quarter ounce self-adhesive wheel weights. I'll be able to cut these into blocks of four and stack them in the center of the car, giving us weight where we want it. Thanks for watching Workshop Wednesday. Come back next week and we'll continue with this car.